Um, when you say live your life like a, player, a prayer, and you say, um, but you also say do it in um, what? Be contemplative. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's very hard to do everything you're supposed to do in a day and still have this contemplation in the back of your mind. Well, that's a trick, yes. <laughs> so tell us the trick. <coughs> All right. To do this. By commitment and alignment. <clears throat> the first thing in the morning is say, I pledge my life to thee, O Lord, and I, and I pray for your knowledge of your will for me and the power to carry it out. Let's say, all right, so you've set up for yourself a, a context of uh, all the subsequent events. Contemplation means becoming, uh, to me at least, as sensitive to the yin side of things. See, the yang side is very ego and very linear. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to feed the kitties, and then I'm going to take their kitty can out, and then I'm going right. to, you know, so-and-so. <clears throat> and I'm, we're going to clean the kitty box. So that, that's very linear. So in the nonlinear, the nonlinear is simultaneously going on as the witness. So there's the doing this, and then there's the witnessing of it. And the witnessing of it is seeing... You know, the caringness about life in all these expressions. Okay. In other words, as you busy yourself around in the morning, mm -hmm. I'm very aware of the caringness about the quality of life around you. You're always trying to improve the quality of the kitty's life, the quality of the kitty's dirty sandbox, the quality of something you're going to make for dinner. There's always that, you know, you might say feminine, but that's not really right feminine. It's more appreciating the value of life and trying to enhance it. Mm -hmm. You know, you're always trying to enhance uh, the experience of life for others, you see. And that's a certain dedication in itself, you see, dedication itself. Okay. So that's why you, what you mean when you say uh, contemplate in the back of your mind as you're doing your daily task to kind of this contemplation. Yeah, it is a witness. Always as a witness in All the right. back of your mind in order to become more spiritual. So as you're frying eggs, you're, the, the witness of you is witnessing you frying eggs, which makes you aware of the lovingness which is behind the service which you provide to those that you, you love, see? Okay. So there's the witnessing. So I would say the, the, what you're asking has to do with simultaneously witnessing. And yet still being able to function in You the do and you witness at the same time that you do. Like we're witnessing being seated at a table, right. talking, uh, and then vaguely aware in the background that there is an audience listening, you see. But there's really the awareness that this is a unique experience for us, which I really appreciate, and I really love the fact that you, you suggested it that we, you and I get a chance to share togetherness and the witnessing of the phenomena mm -hmm. and share it with the group. That was a wonderful idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there... Um, I'm trying to think if there's, I mean, you answered basically uh, everything that I had to ask. I didn't know if anyone else had uh, a specific question. So, <laughs> it's a way of being in the world. So, yeah. so, in other words, what our, how we can best serve this information that you have given us is to go out into the world and be what you have taught us to be. So that your existence becomes a blessing to the world instead of a curse. Some people's existence is like a curse to the world. Mm -hmm. And others people, just their existence is like a blessing. Okay? By consequence of that which they are, mm 